having an adult beverage. I blame this event on my friend Jack Daniels. Howdy viewers, Brad Pryor of Barstool Entertainment doing a special video from my kitchen. And I decided not to interrupt my regularly scheduled posting of videos. I'm just adding this in as a special video because I don't want to disrupt my schedule. If I disrupt it, I mean, I got a lot of videos on video games coming out and I specifically have them set up, posted on certain days. And if I miss out, I may screw things up like, oh, hi, this is Brad Breider of Barstool Entertainment. Uh, welcome to a special Easter video. And well, it's on the Tuesday after Easter. So I really don't want to screw things up that way. And I'm posting this video. I saved up a bunch of stuff that I had ordered on eBay or online from a comic shop. And I wanted to do this video of these items and set them up so that, you know, you can take a look at them. And I did a little bit of drunk buying, which kind of, well, I'll get into that. Now, the first item I have is, you know, I bought from, and I'll get right into this, Bryce Comics. He does a YouTube channel, look it up. It's about the comic book hobby, how to profit from it, how to make it pay for itself, various slabs to purchase. And, you know, he's got a lot of good stuff up there. I did a pre-order from him and I got a really good deal on three slabs, slabbed comics of an issue that I really had wanted to get and I wasn't going to try getting raw comics and sending them in and risking things, but I got a really great deal and it's stuff that, you know, from the 90s when I was heavy into comic collecting. And also kind of the area that was kind of the speculator boom. So let's get into it. The first comic, and I'll show it. X-Men number one. This is one of four comics, one of four covers. And it, again, is something I've been looking to get. And in 9.8 condition, my feelings on 9.8 versus 9.6, once you slab, the 9.6 will display just as well as a 9.8, but I digress. And then the next comic that I got, again, from Bryce Comics, I did the pre-order, and I got this one as well. Again, there's multiple versions of this cover. There's four of them, and they all kind of link together to form one big uh, kind of collage, but they get separated because of the holders, which is fine. And then there was this that I got from Bryce Comics as well. Now, you can see there's something missing, and it is. There's a cover he didn't have that should go between these two comics and well I had to get that on eBay and that's when the whole drunk ordering kind of came into effect and I'll move this stuff over the final cover of this is this one, Wolverine and Cyclops. And it's actually supposed to be the more valuable cover because in the end, what happens is there's inserts or there's something in here that is different than the other copies. And I went on eBay, a seller had it at a reasonable price. They had make an offer, so I made an offer the seller accepted my offer, and well, I bought the comic and completely forgot I bought it 
because the next day I was, you know, it was a Saturday. I was watching some movies and chilling out, um, having an adult beverage. I blamed this event on my friend Jack Daniels, okay, if you get it. And, well, you know, I was on eBay and wasn't even thinking that I'd already purchased this. And I saw another copy at 9.8 at a very reasonable price. And, and it had a custom label. So, hey, why not buy it? I need it, right? Got a complete set. And so I bought it. With 9.8 and a custom label. Now the custom label kind of stands out compared to the other plain labels. So I thought, mm, let's see, if I kept this one, in fact, I'll probably keep this as well. And again, the, this one, is considered the more valuable of these four comics. And if I keep this, it'll look great when I put together my office and display wall. And this can be kept off on a different area and people might notice it and say, well, why? Well, hey, two copies, one got a custom label. This one blends in more with the other comics. And so, this was the drunk order. And again, I don't really regret it. I mean, I got two copies. Maybe I'll sell one eventually and make more money. Who knows? Now, the next one is... Ooh, I got notes on what I want to put out as far as the type of comics. Anyway, the next comic that I purchased a while back, and I purchased it on eBay, and I won't need all these stands here. Again, the 90s were a big deal to me as far as comic collecting goes, and this was a very wonderful series. She, Way of the Warrior. It's a 9.6. I haven't been able to find the 9.8 on eBay. And when I do, it's usually an auction. So like I said, 9.6 does display just as well. And this number, it means a difference to people and unfortunately, it can even double the cost of the comic. So if you're looking to collect stuff and you feel like you're being priced out of the market, go for the 9.6. I believe Bill Tucci has, he's relaunching his Crusade comics and doing his final She, Way of the Warrior chapter. Again, he was a phenomenal illustrator. It was a great character and great story. I recommend if you can pick it up and trade and read it, do so, support Bill Tucci. Uh, again, this is a beautiful 90s era comic. Now the next comic, and again, 90s era. What happened in the 90s? Well, several comic companies launched, including this com comic company called Image, and then there was also Valiant Comics. And I managed to get a really reasonable Solar Man of the Atom number one. I mean, Valiant was revolutionary. It was led by Jim Shooter. He was taking like Solar Man of the Atom. And I believe it was uh, one of the, whichever company it was, he got the rights to use them. He updated the story and was going to blend them in with um, Valiant's own creative characters. And it was working out well, but then sadly, Bill, Jim Shooter was ousted and Valiant, rather than post decent sales, oh, Magnus Robot Fighter, another one, 
Uh, the biggest, most expensive Valiant comic is the Harbinger. If I can ever find that decently and not expensive, I'll pick that up. But Valiant, again, revolutionary in what they were doing. And I'm picking up number ones at 9.8. And I know, yeah, I said 9.6, blah, 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 blah. But if I can get a 9.8 at a reasonable price and not overspend, yeah, I will probably go for that because I understand resale value. Now, the other Valiant era comic I got and this Rye number one, this is Valiant's own creation or Rye number zero. And very hard to find in a high grade because it's all white cover. This is, I believe, there's a matte version and a gloss version. The gloss version is the one that is, I believe, the cheapest one. But again, I really don't care. I really enjoyed Valiant Comics a lot. And this is a beautiful cover. It will display beautifully. And like I said, even at a 9.6, it would have displayed beautifully. But I managed to get a 9.8 at a very reasonable price. And like I mentioned in the 90s, there were comic companies coming out. And there was this company called Image. And Pitt, number one. Dale Keenow is an excellent artist, and this was actually a decent comic to read. I enjoyed it immensely, and I was happy to get, oh, yeah, 9.8, blah, 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 but this, I can get at very reasonable prices and have some really cool stuff when I get my whole uh, display wall put together in my office. The final comic, and this is not a 90s comic, it is from the 70s. Battlestar Galactica number one. Again, 9.6. I can I got this for a very reasonable price. 9.8 way out of reach in some ways. I mean I got this for less than a hundred dollars. People are going 9.8 in the two three hundred dollar ranges, and it's also a I believe newsstand edition. There were direct editions. Battlestar Galactica um, in the seventies was the bomb. I mean, I enjoyed the series, loved it as a kid. Uh, when I watched it years later, it's kind of cheesy. But I enjoyed it. And this I was able to get at a reasonable price. And I definitely enjoy having to have this. And it will go again once I get my display, comic book display wall built. And in my office and get that remodeled. The Battlestar Galactica will be up and proudly displayed. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. I put out four videos a week involving video games and these special videos that I'm doing right now. If you like it, hit the thumbs up icon. Feel free to leave some comments. I respond to all or most comments if they're nice comments. And if you really like videos about video games or want an occasional video about comics or collectible stuff, I do post those. Hit the subscribe button and bell icon and you will be notified. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and most of all, thanks for stopping by.